In this video, I'm going to show you how I use the brand new DIY paint, paint frosting, to make signs. I actually made this sign and I thought I had recorded it, only to realize after I was done that it wasn't recorded. No worries, I'll show you how it's done, but first, let me show you this. To the left, our new kitten, and to the right, Zara Bell. It's her birthday today. For the peacemaker sign and this sign, they are signs that I had previously made. The first one I sanded down and painted over it. This one I just turned it over to the back and I'm using little black dress to paint over the wood. You might have something that maybe you're tired of or that you've thrifted that you could paint over. Little black dress is thick. So I like to water it down and get it nice and smooth to get great coverage just in one coat. Next, I'm gonna use a Chocotour stencil. It's one of those mesh stencils. You can find them at Hobby Lobby. There's all kinds of companies that are making them now. You just peel it you need to fuzz it so that's just you take it and you just put it on your person or a towel and you just kind of get a little bit of the sticky off and it just helps for your paint not to come off but it's still pretty durable once you have it fuzzed then you're just going to place it down exactly where you want it now i previously made some chalk paste. I use DIY paint and the new paint frosting. You just mix it up in advance and just make sure it's airtight. And so I used tarnished pearl with a little bit of vintage linen and I just applied it on there and I spread it with my Iron Orchid Design silicone blade. I have those available in stock if you would like some as well as the DIY paint that I'm using. So you just spread it on there through the mesh and remove the excess. You use very little paint when you're using these mesh stencils. And now they even have a system where you can make them yourself. I think it's called Icon Art. But see, it's very, very simple. And I just scrape off all of the excess and put it back in my jar. Just make sure that it's airtight. I wanna show you how thick the paint became. Just a little drop will do you. That is enough, two ounce jar is enough for five quarts of paint. You only need two to six percent of the paint that you're gonna use. I previously also had made a custom color and I used it on another sign that I'll show you the finished sign afterwards. This one I didn't do as thick because I applied or I poured in a little bit less of the paint and you can see the difference. You can see the thickness. And for best results, you wanna do it up to 12 hours in advance. And look at how neat and how crystal crisp everything turned out. You can use DIY paint with these stencils, but usually you have to use a stencil brush and you want to pounce or swirl, but this makes it so much easier. The chalk paste that I had in the past ruined. I, had, I threw away $100 worth because it got so hard and I never got to use it. So I love that I can now make my own. This is the one that I did previously. I actually did it on a DIY paint live and I did several techniques on this one. I'll post the link here so that you could see it if you're interested. I used embossing powders, I used um, IOD ink and stamps, I used the stencil technique with the brush, and I put the braver, stronger, smarter, and more loved with that color that I made through the mesh with my silicone blade. That was really a lot of fun. For my final sign, I'm using a raw cabinet door and I'm painting it in white swan and little black dress with a regular artist brush. You can tape this off if you want to. It's just as easy to use a nice brush with a crisp edge 
and then you just edge it and touch up as you need to. As I'm touching it up, I realized I didn't want it so crisp and clear, and so I end up cleaning it up as much as possible, and then I just flicker some of the paint onto the black. I don't know if flicker is the right technical term, but it kind of feathers it in and it makes it look a little bit like a chalkboard. And I just really like the way that that turned out. My daughter said that that was her favorite thing that I did on that sign. She actually loves this sign a lot. So I was really pleased with that. Then I go ahead and I um, edged in with my brush the black on that rim. And it's easy to just hold it up and then just have a little bit of paint on there and take your time and you don't need to have tape. But if you wanna have tape, go ahead and tape it off. Then I decided to see if it was best to seal it first I didn't have any problems with my other ones, but sometimes Big Top does smudge your colors or muddle your colors um, if you brush too hard. I didn't have any problems with the Peacemaker sign, but I thought, let me try this and see. So I sealed it with Big Top and I let it dry. And then I grabbed another mesh stencil by Chocotour and I went ahead and lined it up exactly where I wanted it. If you want to measure again, you can measure. I'm using the same white chalk paste that I created with the tarnished pearl and the vintage linen mix. And it's just because I had a little bit of tarnished pearl, I need a little bit more paint. So I added some vintage linen in there and I added my paint frosting. I waited about two to three hours before I started using it. And then I went ahead and I applied it. And again, because I used probably a little bit too much, it thickens up very, very quickly. So I recommend not using as much so that you could have more product. <laughs> so as soon as I take it off, I realize another stencil, very well done. So now I decided that I wanted a wood look. And so I just took DIY Paints Black Wax and I applied it with my chip brush. I have these available. They're a three inch chip brush. I absolutely love these chip brushes. I have a two inch available as well. They're very, very thick and I just love using them, especially when I'm waxing smalls. And I just love the effect. If you want it a little bit darker, you could do a second coat, but I really like the way that it looked just with one. I didn't buff it or anything. I just left it as is. You could buff it and um, create a little bit of a sheen to it if you want. Y'all, I absolutely love this paint frosting and I love the signs, the way that they came out. Nice and crisp and just easy. I was able to turn these around in just a couple of hours. No big deal. And so you can pick up some mesh stencils or you can have somebody make them for you, get you some DIY paint and the paint frosting and you are gonna have so much fun. What a great way to give people some gifts especially when it comes from the heart and it's homemade, there's nothing like it. Guys, I hope that you liked this video. I hope that you will subscribe. I hope that you will follow the playlist for Christ and Crafting. We're gonna have a few more guests coming up soon. This is the sign all finished up that I did on the DIY paint page. I added that little stamp for the crown on the peacemakers and I just love the way that sets it off. All of my products are available online, and if you want to come local and shop, you can come and do so at 575 McCoy Avenue. All of my deets are in the description, so be sure to check it out, as well as that playlist. I just love the way that all of the signs turned out. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another Christ and Crafting video. Have an incredibly blessed day.